seen our peak heating here in West Michigan, but some communities as we get into the 515 530 window still holding on to 90 degrees and this is not the warmest we're going to be this week. 92 degrees right now in Baldwin, 88 Fremont and Tresson, Sparta and Muskegon still 91 right now in Hudsonville and Ionia feels like temperature even warmer than that. 91 in Grand Junction, 91 in Hartford, 90 right now in Niles with some communities feeling as warm as 100 degrees. Benton Harbor and Ionia, some of those towns. Dew points, this is that moisture in the atmosphere. 73 in Hastings, 70 in Allegan. Normally you get above 60, you start to feel that stickiness in the atmosphere. 70s is borderline oppressive, really tropical atmosphere. So it does not take much to break a sweat out there this evening. And it's only going to get a little bit higher here into Tuesday. That's going to have our air temperatures about 12 degrees lower than our feels like temperature. That is a, a pretty large gap here for West Michigan from our air temperature to our feel like temperature for tomorrow. Wednesday still humid, but relief will slowly trickle in Thursday on through the end of the work week. So because of all the heat, the heat advisory is in effect here. This is because if you sit outside for 10, 15 minutes with limited water, it could lead into heat exhaustion or maybe even heat stroke. But the worst of it is over in Iowa, Wisconsin, Indiana and parts of Illinois. We do have that heat excessive heat warning for Berrien and Cass County here. That's all for tomorrow. You can see a screenshot here of the future feels like temperature 105 in Grand Rapids, 105 in Kalamazoo. We may have a community briefly get above 105 tomorrow. So a lot of hot air, a lot of humid air here in the next 24 hours. Here's the view in South Haven this evening. Great evening to get out to the beach with the humidity. A lot of boaters going to be pretty active this evening. Plenty of people swimming. Water's quiet. Going to stay calm tonight and tomorrow unless we see a few stronger storms, which are possible and already developing over in Minnesota right now, as well as into Nebraska. So a few severe thunderstorm warning there. This is mainly tracking north and east, but eventually going to kind of crash down with the jet stream here overnight and through the day on Tuesday and through the day on Wednesday. So here's through tomorrow morning. We could see this line of showers and thunderstorms lead to some strong wind gusts, maybe upwards of 50 to 60 miles per hour with any isolated severe storm, not anticipating any hail, which is good news. Then we get through the midday Tuesday afternoon and evening. We're into full sunshine territory that spikes that heat and humidity for the afternoon hours. And then we get to Tuesday evening. Most storms stay north, but we could see some development here in West Michigan. That's going to be our second round of chance for severe weather. Tornado threat looks to be in northern lower Michigan, but we could see some stronger wind gusts, maybe even some hail with some severe storms. Downpours and lightning going to be expected with that as well. Wednesday morning, we finally start to get some relief as a cold front moves in across the state. So 93 degrees here for Tuesday, back to the 80s and slowly into the 70s by the weekend.